This is roughly where Pongo Track 24 is and how it looks like now. And it is also roughly where Ahmad Daniel allegedly disposed of the corpse of Felicia Teo on or around June 30, 2007. And this is roughly how it looks like a year after the incident, still largely forested and overgrown with shrubs. Ahmad Daniel Mohamed Rafai, 37, was charged on June 27, 2022 with disposing of the corpse of Felicia Teo, almost exactly 15 years after the woman was reported missing on July 3, 2007. She was 19 at that time. Teo left her home in Bras Passa on June 29, 2007. That was the last time her family saw her alive. The case has shocked Singapore and here's why. Ahmad Daniel was initially charged with Teo's murder despite the fact that no body was ever found. A breakthrough in investigations led the police to Ahmad Daniel's arrest and he was charged with murder on December 17, 2020. He and another man, Rajo Putra Setia Sukmarajana, who is wanted by the police, were allegedly the last two people to have been with Teo at a Block 19 Marine Terrace flat. The distance between Marine Terrace and Pongo Track 24 is geographically about 13 km. Pongo had 26 tracks in the past. Even numbered tracks are on the right of Pongo Road, while odd numbered tracks are on the left. The road leads to Pongo Point Jetty. The exact location of Track 24 was on the right side of the road. Pongo 24th Avenue is not Track 24, as it is built over Track 19, which is on the left of Pongo Road. By the late 2000s, the Track 24 area was still underdeveloped. Track 24 is now redeveloped into HDB flats, a development known as Pongo Point Crown. Before the building of new HDB blocks, the vicinity of Track 24 was used to house a prawning pond, an eatery, a resort, and even a stable. By late August 2018, a section of Pongo Road was no longer passable by vehicles. The area is currently cordoned off for construction. The authorities have found a skull where Ahmad allegedly left Teo's corpse. They wanted to send the fragment to United States for mitochondrial testing, a form of forensic DNA test. Ahmad's defence lawyer said that he had not been informed of the results of the tests. The public is curious to find out the truth of the matter, but also how the Singapore police managed to crack part of the case after 15 years. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the notification bell.